Titties. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another <laughs> Red Tax On podcast. Today, I'm your host. I am Big Boy Charlie. I am Ball Man Rick. I am Rusty Man Fraser. <laughs> and I am... I'm a sad Sirhan today. That's oh. that's my double. I'm sad, Sirhan. Yeah. No, yeah. no Sirhan. Yeah. It's okay. No. Sirhan, talk to us. Yeah, look, talk to us. Oh, hey, it's, 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 been are, stress, it's been a stressful week. It's only uh, Tuesday. <laughs> it's been a stressful week. I'm tired. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, my laptop's been messing up. And then Rick has started the potty with titties. I can't take any more. I can't. I can't. I can't. But titties are a good thing. Titties. I cannot, and I, t- I take this quote directly from, uh, I can't remember who it is, but I cannot sanction Rikesh's buffoonery anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Did someone say that? I don't Did remember anyone that saying that. I feel like you just made that up. It was, no, it was, uh, what's his name? You know you know the guy that played Two-Face in the, Val- not Valkyrie, in the George Clooney Batman film? Very famous actor. Tommy Lee Jones. Oh, uh, Tommy Lee Jones, right, yeah. yeah. Um, when him and Jim Carrey were like obviously together, he was a Riddler and he was Two Faced. It was a famous thing, famous story that uh, Jim Carrey t- tells where he sees Tommy Lee Jones in a restaurant randomly in between the shoot, and he was like, "Oh, cool, go, go!" And he goes, "I looked at Tommy Lee Jones, and he goes, he looked at me, and all the blood just like drained from his face." And he goes, he kind of looked a bit shook, and he got up and shook my hand, and in, me, in my ear he said, "I cannot sanction your buffoonery anymore." And then just <laughs> like, and then just sat back down. Jim Carrey's like, "Oh shit!" Like I've been pissing this guy off without realizing it. Like, oh it's wow, it's a very famous did he, story. Did, did he quote. say titties after he said that? Because that would have been perfect. <laughs> I think if he did, he would have slapped him. And I think it goes to show that we are over Zoom or Skype or whatever. And I will still slap you, Rikesh. <laughs> <laughs> titties how dare you tempt me with the titties with no actual titties you owe me some titties not yours <laughs> not yours i don't want yours we're well, not getting mine it's fine <clears throat> <laughs> anyway that was an interesting start okay <laughs> <laughs> segueing in um do you guys know so that hopefully i think i think this will be dropping on the 21st of february <laughs> Maybe February or the 19th of February. Should be dropping around that time. Um, But the 20th of February is National Love Your Pet Day. So I have done a nice podcast. (laughs) They have a day for everything. So you learn some things about some fun animal stuff. Right. (laughs) So it's it's a bit of a quiz. I've just done. So basically, I've just compiled a load of fun facts and put them in a way that you guys will have to try and answer them. It's just fastest finger. Whoever can get in first, just boom. The answer is this. If you get it, you get a point. And cool, cool, cool. Yeah, honestly, compose this in about two hours today. So (laughs) it should be fine. You'd be surprised you could do. (laughs) Right. So are you boys ready? This is a no, first girl. point Let's of the day. Go. And do it for all pets out there. What is the first recorded domesticated pet? Da, buzz! Go, Sahan. A dog? It is a dog. It was like yes! a dog. No <laughs> yeah. I thought he was going to go for some weird I thought it was bug, but I was ready to say cow or something crazy. Yeah. I thought it'd be like a sheep or a goat or something. <laughs> no, yeah. it goes back before agriculture and stuff. It goes back to early. Uh, so there, yeah, archaeological evidence that dogs were the first animals domesticated by humans more than thirty thousand years ago, before uh, ten thousand years before the domestication of horses. And farm animals. Oh, so yeah, yeah. Dogs, dogs have been with us for a good long time. Imagine wow. that that meeting as well, like early man meets canine, and they're just like, "Yep, yep." <laughs> <laughs> I come with treats. You. Okay, I got treats. <laughs> just a bag of dreamies or something <laughs> for dogs. <laughs> okay, sir, hands on the board with one unero pointo. That was a uh, language, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> that was a language. We're multicultural here, guys. We we want to be inclusive. All right, you all get to shout out an answer here. It's to the closest thousand. How long have cats been domesticated? Five thousand years. Rick is going five. I'm gonna go. Uh, 
I'm going to say 10. No. I'm going to go four. I'm going to say seven. Fuck it. I'm saying seven. I'll still be the highest. So four Fraser, six Rick, seven Sirhan. Five. Interesting. I said, oh, no, <laughs> oh, you, sorry, you said five. I said five. I said five. I said five. Okay. Well, the answer was 10,000. So oh, Sir, I was... Sirhan again. Yeah, damn. <laughs> my, 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 I, I should have gone against my gut. I, can, I do, um, uh, I'll do, can I do a little tidbit fact about cats? Yeah, of course you can. Um, where I am from, on the island of Cyprus, it is known in some circles as the island of cats because the oldest skeletons of cats were found on that island. Oh, that is really cool. Mm-hmm. That's really fun. Oh, wow. well, I mean, not fun. Sad for the cats, but you know, <laughs> cool. So, but yeah, what about ten... dogs? <laughs> you know, oh, the island, you know, the island dogs. Canary Island, uh, not Canary, Canaria, oh, Grand yeah. Canaria basically oh. means um, area of dogs. No way. Oh, I, I thought it would be can- canaries of the birds. Oh. Okay, I didn't... Yeah, I, didn't, I mean, canine, I guess, canine. It's, <laughs> yes, it's canine area, like canary. Oh, oh, I never knew that. That's really cool. That's really, really fun. So, yeah, 10, 10 to 12,000 years ago, uh, the origins of the domestic cats began their unique relationship with humans. Uh, in the Fertile Crescent, the geographic region where some of the earliest developments in human civilization occurred. So it was the development of agriculture that brought the cats yeah. in to us. The moment we started farming, they were like, hey, <laughs> purr. <laughs> purr. But I think it was <laughs> now, now. Ag- agriculture. Yeah, basically used for pest control as well. Yeah, because agriculture attracted pests mm-hmm. and rodents, and that attracted the and cats. That- so the cats chose to be domesticated. They were like, I'll stick yeah. around, guys. Essentially, yeah, you were, like Sirhan said, uh, we domesticated dogs, but cats chose us. And I've, I've always loved that. It's very true. And it's a, it's a nice way of yeah. putting it. You feel it. Um, you feel that it was, in there, what, 20,000 20, yeah. years after the yeah. domestication of dogs. Yeah. So we, yeah, for for about 20,000 years before we started farming and that, and we were just um, like hunter-gatherers, pet dogs. <laughs> well, technically <laughs> wolves, I guess it would have been more back then. It yeah. Wolves, Made more sense, but, I guess, yeah. Same, but I same. just... I just love the idea of just like that 20,000 years ago of one guy going up to the wolf and being like, okay, I want to try this out. Fuck it. He's like, here you go. And then it works and one guy going up to a tiger like, uh, here we go. Oh, God, no, no, no. He's not ready. He's not ready. You're not wrong. There would have been a learning curve there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> going up to alligators yeah. like this one. <laughs> Are you friendly? You want treats? No. Uh, I want same, same for like spider bites and stuff. And it's someone had to figure it out. Like, yeah. what about this one? Oh, shit. No, he's dead. <laughs> okay. So this one is a little bit different. I'm going to read you out a little historical thing, which uh, put your minds back into Hamilton, if you've seen it, <laughs> because it's in the around the same time. So this is called General Howe's Prisoner of War. In October 1777, during the American War of Independence, General Howe and General Washington faced each other at Germantown. The battle was considered a narrow victory for the British and afterwards a terrier-type dog was found by the American lines and handed over to General Washington. The dog was found to have his owner's name in his collar, that of General Howe, the British commander. All sorts of ideas were passed around as to how the men could take advantage of the hostage. What did they do? Closest answer wins, if you are close at all. Go on. They returned him. Fraser's going with, they just gave him back? Okay, they... Hold on, was it a male or female dog? Male. Male. Did they mix breed him? Did they breed their own American version from him? Maybe. Is that what you're going with? Yeah, I'm going to go for their mixed breed. They're kind of like a, like a, try to incept him into the cause. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping they didn't do anything to him, to be honest. I'm hoping they just fed him and just kept him for a bit. That was it. So you think <laughs> they kept, looked after him and kept him as their own? Gave okay. him bitches, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Just spoiled him. Nice. Okay, so, however, Washington, a dog owner himself, was steadfast in deciding the dog would be returned unharmed to Howe, along with a note with compliments from Washington. Even in the midst of war, Washington was unwilling to part master and pet. Fraser gets the point. Damn. Damn. Deeply ingrained at that point, isn't it? Like, yeah. 30,000 years of dog owning. I, yeah, I, well, yeah. 
Mm. I still think that if it was a bitch, as in like a female dog, I would have been such a bitch move to do, being like, I'm going to impregnate this fucking dog. I'm going to give it back with all the good graces. But yeah, cool, cool. And however long it takes to give birth, it kind of gives birth and it's just like got like Washington's face on the pups. You're like, oh, 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 he oh, was going to impregnate the dog himself. <laughs> what the, the hell fuck <laughs> happened there? Oh, good grief. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> I'm oh, just well. saying, man, you know, all's fair in love and war. And it, that, that is including both. Oh, that leave, is the and leave the dogs alone. Leave the dogs alone. He gave back, Ricky. He gave <laughs> All right, this is not for points. This is just a fun little question. So if you could have any animal as like a soul creature companion that you could carry around in a Pokeball, what animal would you go for? Any animal ever. Oh. Yeah. A real animal, not a fictional animal. A real animal. I'm going to say an owl. That sounds about right, yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, bitch! Uh, <laughs> I have a question about this. Like, so, say you've got this captured animal and you let it out. Is it just the wild animal or no, is it it's, domesticated? It's, 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 your, your, yeah, it's your soul companion. <laughs> uh, okay. like, it's your... Just like, go, lion. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. My face. <laughs> he wasn't ready. You keep me in a ball. He wasn't ready. <laughs> it just eats the ball. And you're like, uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm I am the book of a bear, then, if it's safe. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Bear is good. You can ride it and shit. Oh, man. Yeah, no. Pterodactyl. I want a, a pterodactyl to fly on. What? Yeah, I mean, it's still a real cool. animal. Yeah. It is a real just animal. Not, yeah. Just not a, what? What is it? a live what if, animal anymore. What if it's real, but he just throws it and the fossils just come out? It's like ah, it just drops to the floor. It's just bones, and it's like well, like well, I, I got a shit deal. <laughs> I got the shit deal. I'm pretty sure a pterodactyl is just a a bird. By the way, I don't think it's like a leathery dinosaur. I think it is just a bird. I think, I think like a pigeons. giant bird. Yeah. I think pigeons are descended from pterodactyls. Yeah. They are. They are. Pterodactyls. So, um, well, I mean, at least get a right, big pigeon. On. What would yours be, Chaz? Uh, oh, I don't know. I didn't actually think. Um, probably as a sole companion, I'd love a fox. It's kind of cool. Okay. I'm glad you said that because I was thinking fox for me initially, but I think we could work as a team, right? Right, because mine is mine. A bar now is one of the few birds that can fly silently because of the way the feathers are designed and its body. So mine would be like reconnaissance. Fraser would clearly be the fighting muscle. Charlie's would be like the little sneaky thief or assassin because it's a fox. Rikesh would just be useless. But <laughs> <laughs> so much for working together. <laughs> Rikesh Good would be work. the most successful it. like archaeologist ever. Everywhere he goes, go. Doof! And I found some more bones, and it would just be a documentary. <laughs> he would make so much money. World's biggest <laughs> con man, archaeologist con man. <laughs> that was fun. That was cool. Okay, who's up for some more points? Yeah, boy. This is a fun one, and it's first one in gets it. There's no everyone gets their say. Whoever gets in gets it. Can dogs sweat? Go. No. Yeah. Yeah. No, they can't. Okay, Sirhan, you're wrong. Damn it! <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> no points for anyone. Yes, they can, but only through their paws. I said yes. Really? Yeah, but it was too late, mate. Sirhan buzzed oh. in first. It was it was one of two answers. Oh, Sirhan, <laughs> wasted the point. I thought, for fuck's I, sake. I thought they. I'm sorry. I thought they couldn't sweat because that's why they're always salivating and fingering from their mouth. I didn't know yeah. they had. I thought the same, and I found out today that that's not the case. They sweat through their paws. I just feel like you ran to Remy, just grabbed his like, paws, and you're like, that rubbing. Uh, like, Come on, you. Smell his sweaty paw pits. <laughs> hey. Okay. This is a yes or no. Are you ready? Yeah. Do cats have a dominant front paw? Yes. 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 I got Rick first there. Yes, they do. So it said on that the board. Uh, female cats tend to be left pawed. And male cats tend to be right pawed. What do cute. they do specifically with their dominant paws? That's the only thing uh, I can think. Oh, I, I, for those listeners, I gestured yeah, a cat you slapping. Just <laughs> <quite is>. uh, <laughs> Start whacking okay. me. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
Cats will obviously like hit poor and things like that. But is that also the first foot forward? Like if they're on all fours, equally mm-hmm. spaced, that that foot goes forward. Yes, that is is their strong foot forward. And cats walk the same as camels and horses, I think, where they lead with two front paws before they move their back back paws. Whereas like dogs, they kind of like left right foot, right arm forward, left leg forward. So it's kind of like they they inter- I've never known intermit that the weight, like does. they shift the weight. Whereas a cat shifts it between the front and the back more than okay. from left to right. Yeah, it's, yeah. Interesting. If I imagine a nature documentary of like even big cats, it's true because you see those two front paws kind of go forward, almost drag the earth, the the back legs kind of mm-hmm. recline in, and they settle and they push. So it's like this momentum. I think yeah. dogs can, but dogs have yeah usually like an alternating sort of thing. Mm. Yeah, this is weird because cats love moving their shoulders about and they look very like left righty, but then they distribute their their weight from like front to back a little bit. It's interesting. Okay. interesting. Very very interesting. Okay, just uh, because we're on cats, fuck it, let's go on to this one. On average, this is for points. How much of a cat's life is spent sleeping? Percentage. Fifty percent. Sixty sixty nine percent. I'm gonna say. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think. Um... I'm going to say 75%. Ooh. Ooh, this is close. It's <laughs> 70%, so Rick gets the point. Yeah! 60 guys saved the day. What did Rick say? What was his percentage? 69%. 69%. And Fraser said 70. 75. So and Rick said 70%. Oh, yeah. 70. So sorry. I thought 75. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I was like, but no, Fraser got, got the answer. answer. But Rikesh was closer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, 70%. According to the Veterinary Hub, which sounds dangerously close to something else, cats actually spend 70% of their lives sleeping, which works out to around 13 to 16 hours a day. What a yeah, fucking yeah. life. Makes what sense. a life. Okay. Do cats it's- dream? I believe so. I actually, I, I didn't look it up, but I have seen the cat twitching in his sleep, so I assume so. Are you sure he just has, he has got epilepsy or something? Yeah, he might. He might. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this isn't for points. This is, have fun. If you could combine any Hello. two animals, <laughs> just have fun. <laughs> have fun, damn it. Are you having fun? If not, have it. Okay. <laughs> if you could combine any two animals for the perfect companion, what would you go for? So you can combine two animals and you can take oh. whatever traits you want off of both, create your own little disaster. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. um... This is like both intriguing and kind of terrifying i think of someone i'm like oh 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 no uh, it's true yeah i like the idea of um is it yeah like a griffin those are pretty cool kind like of like a hybrid. horse hawk yeah yeah that does sound pretty cool or more more like more like a a feline it's like a maybe like a tiger hawk Ooh. tiger eagle so more more cat element to it than than okay. horse or dog yeah mm. i think so because yeah dogs just don't seem to get big enough I, I wonder if there were ever giant canines but um yeah well, like big cat we- with a... werewolves right werewolves what i think they were called i know that like, game of thrones touched upon it but those sort of types dire of big direwolves dire dire oh, yeah, yeah. dire are they real direwolves i don't know if that's based on a I, real dog i think I don't they know were that... once upon a time but yeah not there's a thing anymore big dogs there was evidence that big dogs did exist i don't want to call them direwolves but there was evidence that big dogs existed and they as yeah. they got domesticated they got smaller like a bit like cats oh, okay yeah direwolf is a real thing a, an extinct canine Lived in the Americas during the late Pleistocene, Pleistocene, and early Holocene epoch, epochs. I do not know what any of that meant, but that's called a dire. No. Dire wolves actually existed. Okay, interesting. Um, one hundred and twenty-five thousand years ago. Oh, so maybe that's. Oh my God, that might have been the the kind of dogs we were domesticating. 
Could you imagine? That's right. that somehow made the the guy with the direwolf versus a guy going against a tiger a bit more like I I would maybe go for the tiger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I would kind of want to go for something a bit more smaller. I would kind of want to go for something like a little like monkey combined with a bird of sorts. So it could be something that can fly, but also something that can kind of climb and get you stuff. And it like could be like the things from uh, Thingy Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Wizard of Oz. Yeah, but yeah. less <laughs> less. Uh, Less like sadistic and evil, like yeah, a just letting out the window, like fly, my pretty fly. <laughs> 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 Seriously, come back, come back. <laughs> no, please stop Din- lying. Dinner's at eight. Yeah, I, I would just have like a little capuchin or something with like little wings, and he can kind of retract it, and he can kind of climb around and stuff. It'd be kind of cute. That would be adorable. Yeah, and, and he could also like fling poop like a monkey does, but from the air. A useful skill yeah <laughs> fly my pretty go to charlie's house every like, morning go to work for fuck's sake sir get your fucking monkey out of here <laughs> so what, what animal would what animal hybrid would you combat that with Ooh. Ooh. that's a different pokemon. question guys it's not pokemon it's meant to be your soul creature <laughs> but yeah what do monkeys hate let's pick up monkeys hate other monkeys <laughs> Monkeys are pretty OP, isn't it? They're really good. Like, they kind they of just climb up trees and get away. Doing whatever. Right, terrifying. Yeah. They are freakishly strong and terrifying. Mm. I think I would be a bit creeped out if there was a monkey in the room. Like, Loki, it'd be like having a, a massive rat or something. You have no idea yeah. what it's going to do. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, fair. All right, Rick, what's yours? Um, I have no idea. I'm trying to think what I would have like. You owned- have you have you had pets before? I've had fish and a turtle. <laughs> yeah, you had turtles. I you remember your turtles. Your turtles. Uh, I had two. Leonardo and Leonardo, Michelangelo. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah, never I remember got around them... to Raphael and Donatello. <laughs> I, I, I remember them biting you. That's that's my one of my pleasant memories of you. Mm. They didn't bite me. They never bit me. <laughs> I remember oh, how no, quick no, they no. were. He shat in your hand. That's what he did. He shat in my hand. Yeah. That's what it standard. Yeah. Who hasn't? Yeah. <laughs> a little turtle shit on your hand. I remember when you put him on the floor, mate, and you were like, wait, look how quick he is. And he just fucking bolted. He was he, like, no he, way. He was a quick <laughs> little so bastard. Quick. He was. Like, genuinely, if you'd looked away for three seconds and looked back, he'd be under a so he'd be gone. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah it was, it was a little shit. A little shit. <laughs> Sahan, have you ever had pets? I don't, don't know if you I've, have. I had a goldfish. That, I guess that counts. <laughs> and, uh, no, but do you know what? It, I don't think it counts in the world of pets, but I think it counts in the world of... He was a little crazy bastard, right? Because this motherfucker, right? We called him Lucky, as stupid as it is, because he almost died at least four times, maybe five. Honestly, I overfed him once. He swam upside down for like two weeks. We're like, he's going to die. He didn't die. Dad wakes up, finds him on the floor at least twice because he used to jump up like a fucking dolphin when we used to eat dinner and he used to jump up and he used to end up out of the tank. So we had to lower the water. My dad finds him on the floor, washes him. Oh, he's dead. Starts flippering, puts him in the water. This guy's swimming on his side and upside down, still alive. Well, like, he's brain lovely, damage. Right? <laughs> no, like, what? Let's get, this, let's get this fucker a friend. We get him a friend. As soon as this new baby fish drops in there, immediately tap, tap. He's head biting him constantly. Next morning, the new fish is dead. I was like, no, you're a prick. You don't deserve a friend. <laughs> <laughs> you don't deserve yeah. a friend, right? Fish are brutal <laughs> like that, man. Fish are brutal like that. Oh I'm God. telling you, I loved him. We used to put him in the bath and let him fucking do laps like a freaking racehorse. But, yeah, he was an arsehole. My mom used to threaten to cook him all the time. I was like, no, don't do it. I love him. <laughs> How long did he last? Good, like, seven or eight years, you know. Like, no he lost. Honestly, I called him lucky for a reason. Like, because Christ. this guy just kept going. He kept going. He swam upside down. I mean, like, he's either lucky or unlucky. <laughs> just to keep going. <laughs> Why won't I die? <laughs> oh, it's true. He was suicidal. Damn. But yeah, anyway. <clears throat> Your hybrid. How did, he, how did he taste? How did he taste? Yeah. Like a Crazy. weird mix Is of she? fear and success all at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it was like relief of he's gone, but also at the same time he now lives on in me because I didn't ever poop him out. I don't know. What, I don't know what that means. Oh, oh. <laughs> he never left. You swim on your side. <laughs> 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 feel like a fucking like I'm doing yeah. splash on land, but there's just nothing happening. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> oh, Rick, do you say what yours was? Oh fuck. Um. <laughs> uh, no. Did I? No, I didn't. Uh, let's say a, a <laughs> snow leopard with like dog traits. How about that? Snow dog. Like that's pretty cool that's that was for a quick thing that was pretty good yeah there you go i was imagining you somewhere between like a squirrel and a hedgehog mm. a hedgehog would be kind of cool i'll do like hedgehogs hedgehog is pretty cool yeah but then Damn. yeah i don't like the idea of living with the spikes yeah but they're your spikes oh. mm. you don't be able to lie on your back oh no, but how, how you about don't become like... this animal by the way <laughs> Oh, okay. How about, how about as a nice mix-up is like a turtle and a hedgehog? So you've got like the shell protective armor with the spikes. How cool would that be as a like a Pokemon friend? Be careful where you sit. Cute. Be really cute. A mammal version of a of a tortoise would be adorable. I, mean, I imagine tortoise, not turtle, though. Imagine, That's fine. You I, can pick a choose. With the with the way that Rikesh's turtle was active. Like, you yeah. just scratch everything as he runs around. Dude, that thing <laughs> yeah, is a just a nightmare. Nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Fat little shit. What about you, Chaz? Um. Um. um uh, I, yeah, sorry, I hit PB. Just <laughs> I <did that. laughs> uh, probably go. I, I like the idea of a polar bear. If you if it's domesticated Ooh. and like it's not going to go around eating children, I'll have a polar bear. And I, if you could give it wings, but I can't think of like an albatross. I don't think even an albatross's wings could carry a polar bear. So I don't want to. I don't want to say wings, and then it just be like a grounded bird. Because <laughs> bears are just so like big and puffy. Like imagining it with wings, it doesn't. It doesn't it don't work, work, does it? Yeah. Do you know what though? I will take a page from the hedgehog. I will take a polar bear hedgehog. That would be kind of cool. A massive polar Ooh. bear with like the big. Spiky back for battle. Spiky. That would Spiky be kind of cool, battle. actually. That kind of going into Instantly battle. Instantly Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> I put a saddle on it so I can't get stabbed. Do you know that... Did you know that polar bears aren't actually white? They are transparent. Are they actually? Yes. Their whiteness comes from snow. the reflection <laughs> off of the snow. And when they took a polar bear out of, like, one of the poles and they put it into a zoo, it turned out to be, like, a mildish brown colour. Because it's fol- the hair follicles are transparent and it bounces the colour off around them. They're not actually white in terms of white hair or fur. More sneaky in the snow. Yeah, that's mad. I didn't know that. There you go. We're all learning yeah. something today. Animals. All right. Let's get on to some more famous pet facts slash questions. So points. Give me some points. A cat called Stubbs played an important part of a town in Alaska. What role did he have? Mice eater. Rick is just going from mice eater. Has to control <laughs> some kind. Was was he the mayor? Fraser's guy mayor. So I'm gonna say that stab. he was like the not prophet. You know, like people that can tell you like your destiny. Oh, uh, like a fortune teller. Like a fortune teller vibe. Like you know, if I pick a card or pick an object, they're like, okay, this is what's going to happen tomorrow or in my life. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. An orange tabby cat called Stubbs was the mayor of Tokitna. I don't know what that is. A town in Alaska for 20 years. He had several uncontested elections. And although he didn't hold any legislative (laughs) power, he was loved by locals and tourists alike. Another point on the the doors for Fraser. He had no legislative power. So he was just a mayor. Just because. Just because. Why not? (laughs) Banner. How structured and balanced can your economy and people be that you can have a cat as a man and be like, we're not going to all stab each other or mug each other or con each other or something like. Sounds like an episode of Rick and Morty. That's that's just, it's just wild. <laughs> it seems crazy. like a flex. I'm not going to lie. It seems like a flex. Like, look, we are so at peace in this town. We all literally have a cat 
in charge, Literally. it makes no yeah. difference. We are we are perfect here. <laughs> Literally, for myself. Like. We don't See, need laws. <laughs> you you say that, but I still imagine someone walking into the office of the cat, and he's just there, like, yes, <laughs> that's what they all think. Yes, let the world think what they think, and then he just looks behind him at the window, and everyone's they like a fucking sla- slave or something. Everyone's like trying to chase mice or something. Like, yes, bring it to me. Every time you go into his office, there's just a couple more cats scattered around. You're like, what's happening here? And there's a whole coup going on. <laughs> How nice of you to drop by my layer. <laughs> <laughs> Spins around in the chair. I think not, baby puppy. It is you who is in trouble. <laughs> Do you ever watch that film? What a great film. Cats versus dogs. Yeah. Yes. Epic. So good. <laughs> but it, wasn't, it was terrible. Right. Here, we, here is another fun historical question for you to get. You can all have a stab at it. Woo. Isaac Newton discovered the science behind gravity. But he also invented a very common pet accessory that is still used today. What is that accessory? Accessory leash. is a bit of a. Oh, OK, so we're going leash. We can all have a stab. We can all have Food a stab. bowl. Food bowl, leash. Uh, I'll go with. Collar, I guess. Leash. Food bowl, collar. It's the cat door. Oh. Oh. oh! The scientist is most famous for calculated gravity, but it's also believed that Isaac Newton invented the cat door. How Stuff Works, which is where I got this from, writes that when Newton was working on his experiments at the University of Cambridge, he was constantly interrupted by his cat scratching at the door. So he called the Cambridge carpenter mm-hmm. to saw two holes in the door, one for the mother cat and one for her kittens. And apparently these holes can still be seen at the university today. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I, I'll be honest with you. I don't know why I got this image of this apple apparently dropping on this guy's head, and it's like gravity, and he's just forever in his life just grabs an apple and just throws it at things, just throws it at a wall, throws it at a table, and is like gravity, gravity, just throws it at his door and just breaks a hole in it, and then the cat just comes in and is like gravity, cat door. Boom. It just seems like everything for Newton just like kind of fell into his lap. <laughs> <laughs> Like every time he came up with a discovery, it was just because of like convenience. Like he just happened to be under that tree when that apple fell. He just happened to have a door that shut these cats out every day. Just <laughs> seems very convenient for this guy. Okay. Mm. So now we're going on to this round called Guess the Pet. So I'm going to give you clues as to what pet I am, and you have to guess it. You can just keep firing. Is this like can... breeds of like a cat or a dog, or is this like any animal in general? No, nah, more more general. So like, more general. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, <laughs> right. So you just keep firing. Whoever I hear the answer from first gets it. I have four legs. Dog. <laughs> horse. It's gonna be a horse. It has to be a horse. My teeth never stop growing. Horse. Double. I've heard it. Oh. I am banned in Hawaii. Hamster. Frank raccoon. It, it's hamster. Woo! It was either gerbil or hamster. I knew the teeth thing. Yeah, they, I, I didn't know their teeth kept growing. Oh, interesting. I have that written down because I thought that was interesting too. It's illegal to own pet hamsters in Hawaii. The climate is similar to hamsters' natural uh, desert habitat, and agricultural and environmental officials have expressed concern that uh, released or escaped hamsters could establish wild colonies and damage crops and native plants and animals. So mm-hmm. they're, they're scared about them wow. running out and fucking oh because just because of the climate in hawaii because it's the perfect climate for a hamster to go out it basically would become a rabbit and just start breeding and eating everything and getting all in there that's a wild hamster yeah there you go so that was a point for sir han yeah boy give me that hamster (laughs) (laughs) got him right (laughs) ah (laughs) yes the pet i am cold-blooded but hate the cold Snake. I can swim. I am distantly related to the dinosaurs. Alligator. Crocodile. Green Crocodile. version of me has three eyes. Frog. Oh. I can hold my breath to up to 30 minutes. I can Ex- fall 40 to 50 feet without injury. Is this an otter? It's not an otter. A beaver? What the what fuck? Also, have you seen that? Three, three eyes. Three fucking eyes. Right. Okay. So okay. It's, it's cold blooded. So it's a reptile. It's a lizard. It is a lizard. 
iguana. It's, it's an iguana. Yes, mate. That was a good yeah. one. Iguanas have three eyes. <laughs> Green iguanas okay. have three eyes. I am, I'm Googling this now. What? Yeah. Hang on. <laughs> Mind blown. I thought as I'd soon as you said three eyes. <laughs> oh! oh my god! It does! Uh, it's weird, isn't it? <laughs> it's really it weird. He has a third eye in the middle of his head. Why? Oh. This... Mate, oh. Iguana's minds are open. <laughs> that, <laughs> that third eye is wide. What the hell? Why only the green versions have a third eye? What? I have no idea. I don't uh, have an answer for that one. Why? Parental eye is their weak spot. It will glow what? orange. What the fuck? <laughs> Star Trek. Will... No. It glows orange, did you just say? It's fiction. What? I'm reading this on Reddit, so. <laughs> it could just be anything. It literally says it just detects. Third eye then represents the evolution and of the early approach to the reception. What? <laughs> Nah, 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 nah. None of this makes sense to me because it's saying that you can detect light and movement from above for predators stalking it. So many animals are stalked from above. Why have they sent the third eye? I think what I bearded from it dragons was... also have three eyes. Oh. oh, there you go. I don't think there is. I think there's a lot of theories. Um, I mean, I didn't look too deep into it, but I did type in why, and there wasn't really a clear answer that popped up on Google. So I think it's one of them things. It's like maybe this, maybe that. Obviously, it's years of evolution for some reason. I think what it is, from what I was just looking at, somebody did make a a, a, a good comment. It's like it's not a like proper seeing eye. It's more like for judging light uh, yeah. and temperature and stuff like that. It's a sensory. So it does. It's a sensory mm. organ. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Right. Well, you know. So the scores are close, guys. The scores are Great. really close. Should we have a little ad break? Oh yeah, yeah. I need to pull off. Yeah. Ad break. Ad break. Ad break. Yeah. Ad, break. ad break. Hello there. Welcome to our little mixed species pet shop. What are you looking for today? Mixed species. Uh, I was just hoping to get a dog. Ah, like a, a dog pig. Um, what's a dog pig? That's one of these little cuties. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, no, 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 thank you. Just a normal dog, please. A normal dog? I'm not sure we have any of those, but uh, what about a goldfish dog? A goldfish dog? Yeah, like this little guy. <laughs> oh no, that's horrifying. you. <laughs> Uh, I guess it's not for everyone. Uh, all we have left is the dog dog. Dog dog? That sounds a bit better. Oh yeah, these little fellas fly right off the shelf. Everybody wants one nowadays. Brilliant. Let's have a look. Well, this definitely isn't going to be a dog. Holy shit! Yes, he's a bit feisty, but he'll warm right up to you. Yes. No oh, shit, he's off the chain! <laughs> 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 on down to the Little Mixed Species Pet Store on the corner of Adorable Avenue and find your true soul companion today. Oh no! It's gone out of the shop! It's everywhere! Oh no! No! I got his head about oh. And we're back! Turn on the back. Right. <laughs> so we will continue with one last guest the pet. Guess, guess the pet. I nearly said guess the pest. Guess the pet. <laughs> guess okay. the pest. Uh... This one's quite interesting. I threw quite a lot of unique <laughs> facts in here, so it's going to be very hard to guess. But the last one, if you know it, you will probably get it. So, I can dream. I can see color. Baby spider. Uh, I knew he was going to say that. No, it's not a baby spider. <laughs> it's, it's a type of pet. I mean, you can't. Oh, it's a spider, actually. <laughs> I can see colour better than humans. I have a great memory. Ow. Ow? No, 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 but some of those were close. I bathe in dirt. Pigeon? Getting close. <laughs> if I see blood on another of my kind, I will attack it because I want to climb the hierarchy and I like the taste of blood. Raven? No. 
It's Magpie? it's simpler. It's simpler, simpler. It's a pet of some sorts. A a budgie, canary, Mm-mm. parakeet. Think more agricultural pet. Oh, is it an eagle? No. Oh, it's a simpler, 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 simpler. Come on, someone's got to get that. Uh, a chicken. <laughs> yes, it's a chicken. <laughs> Fucking chicken! No, I don't Come know if you got on. that first out of you two. I, I think it was Sirhan, but I, I think, I think it was Sirhan. I Sirhan think it said was it very similar wow. to one of them. Um, it must be my but, connection. Actually, uh, I, actually, the blood thing should actually genuinely give it away because roosters go like fight to the death. So these guys would be very triggered by blood. Well, so chickens, uh, I don't know if you knew this. I actually gave you both a point, by the way, because I think you both said it at the same time. Um, wow. So they actually they made little red glasses for chickens that they used to put on the front of their beaks so that everything was red so that way they couldn't see blood because a lot of farms were having this problem where a chicken would catch itself on a fence or you know something like that and the moment that blood that they can see blood every chicken will attack it because there is such (laughs) a social society of like uh like hierarchy that they they're like i'll kill that one then i'm higher up the ladder i thought literally the pecking order that's what that's where the term comes from I wow. thought you were going to say the opposite. I thought you were going to say they put a red glasses on them and they saw blood everywhere and just attacked <laughs> just everything. <laughs> that's what cockfights. Yeah. No, yeah, that's essentially it. Yeah. Dude, uh, they are brutal animals, man. We, we kind the of same like... thing applied to like bulls when they see red and they go they. Yeah. They... What is that? For yeah, you? that's it. The little glasses. Oh. Is that the oh little glasses? God. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of, kind of see it. It's plastic. Oh, okay. Thing. They look like little Matt Murdocks. They're little daredevils. Yeah, they literally are. <laughs> they literally are. They um, so they can experience they um, REM, which I thought you'd find interesting after our dreams podcast. Um, they can see better than humans because they can detect ultraviolet colors. Um, so you know, like when you've got like the ultraviolet light and you can see oh. things in the dark, they can see that naturally. Nice. And um, they have a great memory because apparently they can recognize faces up to two hundred faces. They can recognize. Which is pretty fucking cool. Chickens are really cool. I didn't. I didn't realize they bathe in yeah. dirt to get they the also um, taste oils. Amazing. Them. They do, unfortunately, they for do them. Yeah. So that was a point for Fraser and Sirham. Rikesh, mate, you're falling behind. You need to get this one right. This is a really, right. really weird one, but it's fun. What does the term binkying, b-i-n-k-y-i-n-g, mean when talking about a rabbit? Is it that? Is it the twitch that they have? Ooh, very. Yes, it is. But what is that showing when they twitch? They're hungry. No. They're sleepy. Scared? <laughs> Shut up, Not <laughs> sleepy. Is it they're horny? Not horn. Well, maybe horny, but that's not quite it. I need to reproduce. Are they in heat? No, no. They're happy. They're- Yes, they're happy. Oh! <laughs> a binkying rabbit uh, is a term used when a rabbit flicks its head and feet and jumps around to show its happiness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've seen that joyful sort of jump. It's sort of like a, a dog tail wagging sort of moment. It is possibly the most adorable thing that rabbits do. It's so fucking cute. Please just look up binkying rabbits and, oh, my God, the little twitches. Oh, it's fucking cute as hell. <laughs> it's so adorable. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I lose my whole Too evening. Too cute, <laughs> Fraser does whole evening, just be sitting there crying, eating like ice cream. Being <laughs> funny. Okay. Uh, Another point. Rikesh is going down the rabbit hole. Oh. 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 I feel Rikesh is it doesn't well. look healthy. It, it looks like they're spazzing <laughs> out slightly. Like they're trying they are. To jump. <laughs> they're just so excited they can't yeah. control it. Like when when Remy gets excited, um, my dog for those at home. Um, listening um he, when he gets excited he just shrinks like he scrunches up into like this really tight little ball and he's just like i'm so excited it's like, <laughs> it's all, like all wrinkly and scrunched up for Strong. the uh, for the <laughs> listeners since we're talking obviously i know you guys have got pets me and rickish don't currently have pets to my knowledge but what pets do the rest of you guys have and what breeds are they because it obviously says a lot about the type of animal it is there i have a labrador retriever and a tabby ah. Ah. I have uh, a cross between a a bully XL and a staff staff terrier. Oh, so cute! And one that of is... our cats is a British Shorthair, and the other one is just a, a black cat. 
<laughs> <laughs> I love that we don't really give a lot of names to some of the cats. Like right. Tabby yeah. is one of the only ones I know, and then it's just Ginger. Yeah. <laughs> White. Yeah, I know nothing <laughs> about yeah. They're just cats. Like, what, what more do you want? Yeah. Right. Oh, my dog's is name it? is Baxter. Oh. Baxter! Great classic, great classic dog name. Isn't that the name of um, Anchorman's dog? Anchorman. It is, right? Is it? <laughs> Baxter! <laughs> Baxter! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to start sending you that meme. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play it to him. <laughs> it's going to be my new threat. <laughs> Whenever I need to threaten Fraser, I'm going to send him that dog guy. Baxter! <laughs> Baxter! Jack Black kicking his dog over the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is first in, only one guess. What pet detaches its tail when it feels like it's in danger? A lizard. lizard. I got Sirhan there. Aww. That was Sirhan for me. And there's no Sam's way his connection is better. <laughs> <internet. laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mate, I'm telling you, all I need is a connection. I literally watched a video about that literally just the other day. That's why it popped into my head. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah most lizards. I, I just think of Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, I think that Spider-Man's tail. He did detach tail, his tail, like, didn't he? What? Yeah. He does detach yeah, his yeah. tail in The Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah, that was weird. The lizard does, yeah, in the film, not Spider-Man. I'm not going to make that mistake. <laughs> Like, what are you talking about? Throws a tail, and then drops it. What kind of Spider-Man did you grow up with? <laughs> okay, this is you can fire in as many as you want for this one. In 1963, what animal went to space? Dog. 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 No. Monkey. Monkey. No. Uh, steak. Oh. No, not a steak. No. What was it then? Was it is... a a goat? No. A rabbit? Nope. A gerbil. Cat. It was a cat. Really? Yeah. What? 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 Cat. I think because I'd had a few cat ones on there, so I did throw it in there as a bit of a surprise. <laughs> but I didn't know about the cat. I mean, I knew dog and monkey, um, and this is exactly what it says. A cat. You've heard of monkeys and dogs in space, but did you know that a cat braved the great unknown too on October 18th, 1963, Felicet? Also known as the Astro Cat, was the first and only cat to go into space. Did was it sent up by Alaska? Uh, yeah, it was, <laughs> they had enough of him. <laughs> they were like, "Right, you've done twenty years, and you've done fuck all for this fucking town. <laughs> fuck <laughs> off, man!" <laughs> Shoot him up uh, in a rocket. Uh, How uh, does uh, that one cat become so loved? What about all the other cats in the town? Just like, oh, no, fuck this, fuck these cats. Why <laughs> that one cat is so special? Why it, it just doesn't make any it, sense. It ha- I think, in, in, in my imagination. It had a moustache. <laughs> <laughs> a little curly moustache. And that's Super why I got the job. Yeah. <laughs> People have been voted for less. Well, I I have to ask, and just out of curiosity, and I don't know if we know this, but these animals that went to space, they, they didn't come back, did they? Yeah, we don't need to say that. Yeah, we don't need to talk about oh, that part. I'd we don't like, need to talk about that part. They're on a yeah. grand adventure. Yeah, they're still out there. I'm honest with you. They've gone the to Guardians a special are... farm on Mars, all right? They're living a nice, happy life on Mars on a very special farm. They're okay. They're okay. Look, I'm, I'm the they all got there safely. They've got their treats. They've got a nice, comfy bed. Let's just move on to the next question. That's 100% right? the quote yes. on the thumbnail. They went to a nice farm on, the, on Mars. They <laughs> did. They did. <laughs> oh, shit. That was fun. That was, that was okay, cool. right. Okay. Let's, get some more, let's get some more points in, boys. <laughs> Quick fire. This this is easy. First one to get it. What pet can live over a hundred years? Turtle. A turtle. Whale. Tortoise. It's a tortoise, guys. It's not a turtle. It's a tortoise. Fuck's sake! No. <laughs> Fraser played the calm game there. You the way he just in. he didn't say he just waited for all the fucking manic and it just took his moment. Like no, you idiot. Tortoise. <laughs> well, not beating, not beating certain <laughs> incidents. So. Which is ironic that I... he came in slow. <laughs> taught us okay right <laughs> no no one all right this, no is, this is a bit tougher this is a bit tougher um and it, remember it's it's a this is a very common pet what pet has hollow bones oh, I know this. pigeon it's, birds you're not wrong but we need to be more specific a not a pigeon no a budgie parakeet it's a budgie a budgery gars oh, have yes. hollow bones and they also have water yes. sacs in those hollow yes. bones uh, air sacs sorry in those hollow bones to help them fly oh 
Nice. Yeah, air sacs was weird in the bones. I don't really get how that works. Didn't look into it, but that's what it said. Huh. So this is a good one. And this one will be really good for you, Sahan. I am expecting you to get this one. Okay. How long is a goldfish's memory? Fire away. 15 years. <laughs> I mean... No. <laughs> 14 no, years. Is, no. Hold on. So 16 back years. To experiences. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's like, is it three years? So you're saying three years? Yeah, Wrong. fuck it. Okay. Three months? It's memory. Closer. I think it's, all right. Uh, is it three seconds? Nine months. It's not three seconds. It's not nine months. It's not three months. A six month? months. It's six months. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So it is believed that goldfish have really bad memories and can only remember things for three seconds. However, after some studies, they might be able to remember things for up to six months. So basically the whole thing of a fish Chemical. remembering things for three seconds versus six months is then really just like a cat mode of disregarding you. Like, come on, fish. You're like, fuck you. I don't know. I ain't going to fucking come over to you, you little prick. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just is... pretend like I know you. I like the idea of a goldfish catching attitude for whatever yeah. fucking reason. <laughs> I, I think that, yeah, I'm going to go by, I'm going to go with it. Yes, that is exactly <laughs> what they do. They're assholes. <laughs> I've seen it in, I've seen it in real life, bros. I'm telling you, my mom was a murderer. I, I've seen depravity with that fish. It, bro- it broke me, man. Right, we're coming up to our last two questions. So, rake him in, Rick, is your you're falling behind. <laughs> okay. okay, this one, you can all have one stab each. And you can all hear each other's answers because I think it's going to be quite tough. But you might get it. Who knows? The word pet came from where? I'm going to say... Ancient, ancient Greek. I was going to say, yeah. I'm going to go ancient Egypt then. Well, I'd, I'd, say, I'd say where, sorry, as in where did the, like... The word? In, what is, the, yeah, where did the word originate from not f- from a country yes. but like what word has it been has it come from oh so what's the uh, what's the um yes the original word the, that the pet whole has been word shortened. Yep, yeah. yep, yep, yep. i get you i get you so oh. okay sorry uh, that was badly written no, 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 I, I get it i get it what's the kind of like the original word for it i don't uh, really know like any sort of synonyms or any other kind of word used it's like it's like if you're describing your family members, you've got like your brother, your sister, your mum, your dad, then you have your pet. Right? Mm-hmm. You don't call that anything okay. else. Okay, is this, is this a word, as Fraser said, there's no other connections that we can make off the, off the cuff of it, but is this a word that when you saw it, Chaz, you thought, oh, I've kind of seen this around, or is this just like, is this alien to us? It makes, it's a word you all know, and okay. it makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. Um, I'll try and like hit you in the right direction. It's a word that we sometimes... Oh, go on, Rick, if you want to say it before the clue. No, 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 go on, carry on before I shoot myself in the foot. It's a <laughs> word we kind of use now a little bit to describe something small and annoying. Oh. Whether it be an issue or a person. My mum? <laughs> yes, that's where, the, that's where the word pet came from. I'm, I know, I'm, God, so, I hope you're I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry. I just, I think, nice. I, nice. I saw a window. I saw a window. I had to take it. Um, so, uh, don't come home. <laughs> I don't live at home. Don't uh, come back here. And, and, it, and does it start with the word pet? Mm-hmm. Yes, it does. It's a common word we use. Really? Yeah, it's not a very long word. It just got a couple of extra letters on the end of it. Petty. It's petty. Oh, <gasps> yeah, the word petty. petty. Uh, people petty. were often people were often called pets before the word pets became a common use before it's common use today. Um, and it was a way to describe a spoiled child because they were petty, so they would call them pets. Oh, you pet! You wow. spoil! You spoil small thing. Well, yeah. yeah. I I'm point for that's I'm for someone who only had a fucking Fire goldfish. He's doing all right. <laughs> <laughs> How weird! That's because yeah. that's because I've I've seen some things, bro. I've seen some things. That's <laughs> weird when we talk about animals, but okay. It's, it's kind of a weird. It's it's a weird connection. Like you don't see petty, petty as like a yeah. uh, a positive thing. But then, no, yeah. 
to link that to pet like i don't know if it's is it like a welsh thing or something like i don't know where that, i don't know where it actually came from but like it's, it's like it's that good slang i guess like, mm. or pet. well i know that i guess and yeah. there is a word for this and i will throw this one in a diction next dictionary ad by a potty that there is a word that describes a word that originates in one context and then it changes its meaning by through use and the mm-hmm. example that i remember listening to was how you know how like on perfume bottles it says like le toilette right example in the more mm-hmm. of a french spelling they mm-hmm. we tagged the name of the toilet the toilet because people wanted to associate it with something fragrant and nice smelling because toilette came from the perfume word first originally. So mm. people use it for the lavatory. And then over time, we now know it's a toilet. So it's lost that positive meaning sort yeah. of thing. Oh. And it's almost the reverse. It came from something yeah. negative. So but then back then, I mean, it would have been more like a pest, I guess. It'd be like basically yeah. the, I mean, maybe the word pest actually came from petty as well. I'm not sure. But yeah, there you go. It did come from petty. Yeah. Well, there you go. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. I found it fun that people were called pets before animals were. <laughs> it's just quite fun. Right, final question of your quiz, guys. It's close, close, close. Are you ready? This is a tough one. So in this one, you can just fire away. First answer I hear right gets the point. Okay. And I apologize uh, for anyone from Sweden for the uh, the pronunciation of these words. Place virgin from Sweden, that's C-L-A-E-S, Virgin, from Sweden, invented something in 1890 that majority of pet owners still use today. Is it the dog whistle? It is not. Is it the lead? It is not. Is it a harness? It is not. This is 1890. Do you want to hint? Hold on. Say it again. It's it's something that most or all pet users use. Majority of pet owners still use today. Pet okay. owners. Doggy bags, poo bags. No. Good guess though. Here's a hint. It's a written policy. Is it so your? Google? Is it your right to? Is it the rule to pick up dog shit? Nope. That's a good uh, one, though. That was a good uh, guess. Uh, Majority of pet owners still use it today. Is it your is right it like to... A, is it like a health area? Sorry, I got a, th- a few answers at once there. Fraser, what did you say? Uh, I was going to say like a dog tag. Like a... Nope. Thing. Nope. Is it... So is I, it the name is it on like, the collar? Is it, nope. Is it like pet insurance, like health insurance? <laughs> Sounds on fucking fire. It's pet I insurance. Said, I said pet insurance. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh, did you? I did not. I said pet insurance, pet buddy. I did. I, I, I did. Pet insurance. Say that. I, I'm sorry. I can't Play back the tape. Play back the tape. <laughs> I swear I did not hear you say that. <laughs> I really. said insurance. I'm so sorry. That's a point I t- for me. So, I, I tell insurance. you what. I'm gonna let you decide. Do you get the point or does Rikesh? I get the point. I honestly did not hear Rikesh say that at all. I did I not swear hear I didn't. Did you hear him phrase? I think I did, yeah. There you go. I swear to God, that's two for two. I'll tell you what, Rick, I'll give you a point. I'll give you a point. Because honestly, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have a bonus question on top of that question. So Ooh. Again, fire away on this one. As many answers as you want. Who was the first dog in the U.S. to have pet insurance? A president. Abraham Lincoln's dog. No. <laughs> George Washington's dog. No, it's this dog has a name that you will know. Spot. Think of a famous dog. Famous dog, not Spot. Is it uh, Lassie? It's Lassie. Oh my there god. You go. Lassie go was on, the Lassie. first dog in the U.S. to to get pet insurance because. It was an important dog that they needed to keep safe. Do you know who needs insurance? Clifford. Guy's no one insures that guy. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you put the height and weight in, they're like, yeah, no, I'm not, yeah, I'm no. not, I'm not insuring that elephant. <laughs> All right, let me count up the scores. All right, I've done it. <laughs> I was ready to do some like a, uh, hold on. Chaz, you have a history of numbers. Counting again. Let me do, let me just do some elevated music at least, please. 
I just want an excuse to music, please. You didn't have to offend me before. You could have just asked. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe for I'm that, sorry. take off all of his points for, for, the, for the random insult. <laughs> Uncalled for. Check it again. I've taken off a lot of your points. Um <laughs> You were doing really well. Now, <laughs> not as much. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. So in third place, oh. insert drum roll here, please, Fraser. With four points, it's Ricky. <laughs> in second place, I think we already know who's won, but in second place with six points is... Fraser! So our winner is Sahan with 10 points. Oh, damn, sir! Absolutely, absolutely smashed it. He's, yeah. he's with absolute knowledge. There you go. That was my, uh, that was my fun little pets potty. Nice the guys. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. If you guys got them all at home, let us know. Um, or if there's any more interesting facts that I've missed out that you think need mentioning, please hit us up. We love reading the comments. Um, I've been your host, Charlie. Big boy, Charlie. I've been bald man, Rick. <laughs> uh, I'm still Fraser. <laughs> and today, um, um, I... hang on, sorry, Fraser. Who are you? What? Oh, <laughs> that's the man, Fraser. There oh, are. Okay, that makes more sense. Right, yeah. Right. Like, oh, yeah. No, I, I didn't like know who I was. <laughs> <laughs> and today, I'm going to change it up from Sad Sirhan. I am your winner, and I have evolved to Supreme Sirhan. Oh, Sirhan Supreme. Sirhan Supreme. I like Binky Sirhan. Binky Sirhan. I do Twitch a lot. And I do jump around. Binky Sirhan. Binky Sirhan. <laughs> Thank you guys. That was really fun. And have a happy uh, National Pets Day. Hey. And have a happy Pets Day. Copyright.